Welcome back to episode 13 of Lovercraft Survival, and look at this little scene here. I am just chilling out on my beachside recliner right next to the tiki bar we built last episode. But enough of that. It is time to breed our parrots, and last episode I got plenty of comments and overwhelming. Everybody said to use cookies, so I have made eight cookies. That should be enough to breed both of them. Let's get to feeding them. Oh, I'm just kidding you. I got you. Admit it. I'm looking at you. Right there, I'm looking at you. You thought I was gonna give them cookies, but no, I am smarter than that. We are gonna be giving them seeds, and I think that I have to tame them first from last episode. That's what we didn't do. Yeah, see, look at that. They're gonna tame up. Wait a minute, see. Oh, there we go. Man, he, he was really hungry or something. Okay, so we got one parrot. Now we gotta tame the rest of them. Oh, he, he was just like, yeah, let's do it right away. So now can I breed them? Is that how this works? I don't, I don't actually know if you can breed parrots. I'm, I, I think you guys lied about that last episode, but nevertheless, I have them tamed now. So now they'll follow me around. Oh my goodness, look at them. They are so cute. If you can breed them though, please let me know. Cause I know that cookies are not gonna get it done. Now, what are we gonna do in today's episode, you say? Well, first of all, I've been looking around this place and we're kind of running out of room on our island. Like we filled up the whole plains over there and the island's already full. So what I do own though, is this little area over there. So I have collected a ton of dark oak wood and we are going to be building the same exact bridge that we built over there, but out of dark oak wood. And we're gonna be connecting over to our new plot of land. There is a giant building over there. Someone found our claim and built a giant thing there, but you know what? It kind of looks cool. So we own all along this coastline though, and we need to get a way to get over there so we can start utilizing more of our land. Cause I mean, guys, we are running out quickly. We're expanding so fast. Okay, so I started the bridge over to our new area to conquer. I'm excited about new land. I mean, we really take over areas fast, just part of the way we play, but this is what the bridge is going to look like. Honestly, I feel like the dark oak doesn't look as good as the birch, which is a weird thing to say, but the dark oak has like no variation. It's all the exact same color. So we might need to come back here and change either the fences or something with maybe spruce. Spruce and dark oak look really good. But anyways, I just have to carry this design all the way over it is going to take an eternity i am so sick of building bridges well this is a little life tip for everybody playing minecraft out there they ever build next to water it's pretty sure but my goodness it just creates so much unnecessary work and i am just so tired of it okay so i finally got the bridge all the way to the other side and as you can see when i go under the water the bridge pillars go all the way across it's kind of scary down there but i don't know it'd be good for fishing in real life they would love to hang out around that structure but as we come across the bridge you can see that i have used spruce fence instead of dark oak fence i looked at it and i was like it's just two all the same color so we're going with spruce fence and then we are going to continue with the lanterns all the way down and back and I have that done. The only thing left to do is to go underneath the bridge and at every single pillar, we're just gonna put a little half slab on the inside of each one. And finally, we are done with the new bri bridge project. As long as I don't drown here, come on Isaac, get out. Whew. We escape. And as you can see, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's very intimidating if you ask me. It's almost like a wall and I kind of like that about it. Um, but now we have a continuous path all the way from our main base across the little island and into our new territory. Put down in the comments below what you think we should do with the new territory. I'm thinking about putting a big seawall along the whole coastline and then building up like a fishing village and we might put out some docks and maybe some big boats out here just for amazing decorations and views from our island. But tell me what you think. I'm open to anything on this new piece of land. Also, I forgot to mention, if you look to the right side of our screen, we have $777,000. The skeleton spawner didn't sell last episode, so I lowered the price to $450,000, and we did sell it right away. So I feel really good about that. We are in the 750,000s. We're almost to a million dollars. And maybe, just maybe, when I go open this daily crate right now, we are gonna get to a million dollars. Let's see what happens. I mean, I feel like we're bound to get lucky at this point. Come on. Daily crate. A daily, man, I just, those crates will never pay out for us. I don't even know why I open them anymore. Ugh. Oh, guys. What, what? I want to kill him. I don't like those things. I'm going to get it. The Endermen, I just, I can't stand them. They mess up my base all the time. They've killed me. I don't even know how many times we're getting, where the heck did he go? You run like a baby. Where'd you go? Oh, he's gone, everybody. He knew I was coming for him. 
That's why I teleported. Oh my gosh, why does he always teleport every time I'm gonna kill him? Those are the most annoying monster in the entire game. <sighs> All right, I am back at the main base now. And I think today what I really wanna do is automate our pumpkin and melon farm, which is something I know how to do with redstone. I know, we just gotta put pistons underneath them to push up and it'll automatically harvest them. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while, so I think today is going to be a great day with that. And then cactuses are also super annoying to harvest because like when I go in between here, they start to hurt me. So I know a design with glass panes that will automatically harvest them every time they grow. And then we'll put hoppers below them to collect it. So we are all about automation today because automation is the future of Isaac's base and we are going to win this thing with automation. All right, so I think this area right here is going to be the perfect area to move the cactuses to. I'm just going to build another one of these boxes here. If we have to extend the coastline a little bit, that's gonna be fine. First, I need to go get some birch wood. So let's use our conveniently placed tree farm, which is right here. So I'm gonna harvest up some logs and then we're gonna make another planter box right there. Oh my gosh, look at this ability I unlocked on the server, by the way. You just chop down the bottom block of the tree and it instantly breaks the whole thing. This makes harvesting wood so easy, especially when you have a tree farm, because it's just all right in a row. We gotta hurry. We're gonna run out. Oh my gosh. Oh, we, we missed the last tree, but we basically just harvested the entire tree farm in about five seconds. That was amazing. And now we are going to replant all the saplings like nothing ever happened. The one bad thing about that ability is it seems to break all the leaves without giving you the saplings, but luckily I had a bunch saved up from harvesting this before. All right, so I got the new planter box laid out. I did have to extend the coastline a little bit, but honestly, you can't even tell. And now I'm building this purely off memory, so please do not hate me in the comments if I do this wrong. But I believe we just have to have water below the area the cactuses grow. And then when we place the cactuses down, we have to put glass panes on all four sides of them. So I'm about halfway through building this right now. Is it the prettiest thing in the world? Not really, but I also don't think it looks terrible because it is pretty uniform as a grid. So all we have to do is put cactuses on each of these pillars that I have made. And then I believe all you have to do is put glass panes all the way around just like this. Hold on a minute, this is gonna be difficult to do, but then you break the middle one. And now whenever this cactus grows, it's gonna automatically break because there's a block next to it. And then the cactus will fall into the water below and I will have hoppers placed directly right there and I'm gonna have a chest for collection. So as I'm just playing passively on the server, we're going to get unlimited cactuses. And that is so good for our economy because we're gonna be able to sell these to the AH and or to the shop and we're gonna make massive amounts of money from our cactuses. So I'm gonna get to replicating that design on every single one of these pillars. And I have finished putting all the glass panes down. It actually kind of looks pretty cool. Look at this, it's like a spaceship or something. I don't know, it just looks kind of futuristic with all the floating glass. But like I said, cactuses are gonna grow. Glass panes are going to break the cactuses. Now I gotta go get some hoppers and I'll put them right here. I have obtained the hopper and the chest. Didn't even have to look up the crafting recipe to make one. I'm getting pretty good at this game if I do say so myself. But now all I have to do is put the hopper right here. Boom, boom. And the chest would go, I think right here. Hopefully that will go into it. And now we have a completely automatic cactus farm. And let me say, it doesn't even look that bad. Sure, it's kind of industrial, it's very grid, but now we can remove this and we have new land right here that we can do something with. Now it's time to automate the melon and the pumpkin farm. Actually guys, before we move on to the pumpkins and melons, I actually wanted to change the design here a little bit. I felt like it was more clean if we just put the chest right below the hoppers. So I am going to move the chest and place it right here. And cause I mean, how often are we really gonna have to harvest the cactuses? It's no big deal to have to break a hopper to get down there. Now it's, it's more compact and we can have the wall right intact. All right, and now we are going to be doing the pumpkins and the melons. And I have made a fair few of these in my day. This was like the original farm design from like 2012. I don't know, it was so long ago when I played Minecraft when people used to do this. But it's super simple, so I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, you gotta dig out the area where the pumpkins and melons would grow. And you're gonna wanna go two blocks down because the sticky piston is going to occupy the second block down. Once you get all the sticky pistons laid out, two blocks down from where the crop would grow, you just recover it up in dirt and then all we have to do is wire up each of the pistons from below. And when we pull the lever, it'll raise all the pistons and that will automatically harvest everything that has grown on the plot. 
All right, I have hollowed out the entire underground of the farm. Now I have to go along and put a repeater into each piston and then we'll have to run a redstone line along the entire thing. And a quick tip for this, fill in the water in the middle because if you don't, it's gonna go down there and ruin all of your redstone, which I cannot be doing twice. I hate doing redstone. Oh my gosh, guys, you are not gonna believe this, but I made the exact number of redstone repeaters that I needed, look at this. If that isn't the most satisfying thing you have ever seen, I was getting really worried I'd have to go craft more of those because those things are a pain to craft. Okay, so I have repeaters at every single piston and then I ran the redstone wire to every single repeater and now I just have to complete the circuit. I believe, guys, now I'm not a redstone expert, but I think when I put this pressure plate here, whenever I step on it, it is going to raise up everywhere where the melons and pumpkins can grow. Oh, first try. Look at that. And you know what? I'll go down here. Maybe you'll be able to see. So it's just redstone that goes in a giant circle and it goes to every single repeater. And I knew how to do that. I'm very impressed with myself today. Can everybody put a GG in chat for me today? This was a big deal. I did redstone on the first try. Now, the only problem I'm seeing is that I don't have anywhere to put the water now, but I think if I put half slabs right on this block, I can put water on top of this and it will only take up half the block and not ruin the redstone. Famous last words, maybe, but let's see if this works. Okay, I think that worked actually. Um, to me, I just have, I'm just gonna have to put a source block on every single slab. We actually did it. Wow. All right, and the last source block of water is going in. Just like that, everybody, we have a brand new automated watermelon farm. Can I just, I'm again, guys, I don't do redstone, but I remembered how to do all of this off memory. So I'm very impressed with myself today. You know, I got a little bit more skills than I led on to believe. And look at this. I wonder if we've got any cactuses yet while we were building that. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, look at that. We did get a single cactus. So I'm very happy about that. So now that we're done automating the two farms we built here today, it's time to head over to Ben's village, which as we remember from last episode, it's right across the water in the dark oak biome. And I think we're gonna be purchasing two villagers today so that we can set up our own villager breeding station like he has over there. And we can take away his business. He's not even realizing that he's selling us the key to his main business. We are gonna have to spend $90,000, but it's gonna be all right because we're still gonna be well above Zach with about 700,000 to spare. Okay, Ben's taking us to the villager shop where we'll be purchasing two villagers because I think he has a two villager special in the shop. Oh, we certainly do. We certainly do. Oh, man, this is quite a confusing village, Ben. There's stuff everywhere. All right, so here is the villager shop. It appears that we can get two villagers for 90000 Is that correct, Ben? That is correct. If you, I'll be I will be toggle. sending the money over right now, Ben. Send it. Raining soap. 90,000. Oh, that is a big purchase, everybody. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at our money. We're down to 687,000. Right. You know where they're at, don't you? I w well, for $90,000, I am expecting delivery. Well, we we do not deliver. We I made will that be clear. expecting delivery. That, was not, not that deliver. is not negotiable. It's already been paid for, sir. Um, sir, I have not been given the product yet. I would like delivery. I can give you one right here. The other one is down in the uh No, no, no. This warehouse. is not how this is working, Ben. You will be delivering two villagers to me. There's one on the way. What the heck? I'll give you a what mine card. What kind of operation you, you got going here? You can here, catch man. the mine card if you want to go. Oh! You better get on the way. Well, guys, I guess we're not getting delivery today. But, I mean, <laughs> we are getting to ride the mine card system, so can't Good be too bad. All right, so Ben said we could select any of these two villagers. We will go ahead and take the one he just sent over in the minecart, and then we're going to get another one. We have to turn one into a farmer with a composter block, and then we should be able to have a villager breeding station. I think that's what we're going to do next episode, so I'm excited for that. Also, I have tried to pay Zach about three or four times for this shop this week, but unfortunately, he has his pay toggle turned off, so a bunch of people on the server don't pay him. So it is not my fault if he does not accept my payment. I'll just have to catch him on at the right time. By the same standard, he has not paid for the rail cart system yet. So we technically have another $25,000 coming to us. So I am extremely excited about that purchase today. And guys, you don't even understand how much money these villagers are gonna make us. We're gonna be able to trade for emeralds for almost any block in the game. And we're really gonna be able to increase our, our earning potential. So I'm back at the island and the last thing that I want to do today 
is to clear out this little island peninsula thing coming off of the mainland over there. It really takes away from the island feel. Like that land is just too close. It's making this feel like a river through here, um, which I hate. So we are going to tear down all the trees and then we're gonna take back all the sand and dirt down to water. It is a decent sized chunk of land. I'm going to cut it from about right here and arc it around. So we have to cut off all this. So this is a big project here today, but we have good enough tools to get this done pretty quick. Whoa, guys, I was just digging in the ground and somehow a name tag came out of the sand or the dirt. I don't know if that's something to do with the server, but we just got a free name tag. I will never know how that happened. If anybody knows how I just got a name tag randomly while just digging, tell me, because I think I dug it out of the sand somehow. That was so cool. Whoa, guys, again, I was just digging and I randomly got a music disc. I don't know what is going on right now. Wait a minute, we got two music discs? Guys, we're digging up treasure as we just dig the ground. There's an egg. I don't know what is going on right now. Another music disc. Guys, are we inventing a new business here? We can literally dig for rare items right now. I mean, I just confirmed it. They are straight up coming out of the sand and the dirt. We are just multiplying our wealth. We could rip Zach and Ben off. We can get this stuff so easily now. Ooh, a different music disc and a name tag. I really enjoy digging now. Maybe we'll just do a digging episode next time. Oh my gosh, guys, the super breaker on the trees works on dark oak. That is probably the biggest game changer I've ever seen. It's such a waste on birch logs. Look at this. We just mowed down the entire forest in like five seconds. Oh my gosh, we gotta get to that tree before it runs out. Oh my gosh, that's so, look how much wood we just got. Oh, that's so OP. I wanna make a dark oak tree farm now because that was so good. All right, everything is cleared out besides the very bottom layer. So I just got to take the home stretch and we are going to be done with this excavation project. Oh my gosh, a creeper and a skeleton. Do you think we can get a real music disc? When was the last time I did this? Don't blow up. Okay, okay. Wait, I think we got to hit the creeper once more. Dang it, we killed it. There's one more chance at it though. All right, guys. So we've been getting the music disc by digging, but I believe if this skeleton... Oh my gosh, they're going to kill me. If they shoot this creeper one time, we're going to kill it. Oh, we did it. Yes. That is so hard to do. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yes. I, when was the last time I've done that? That's been years since I have got a legit music disc. Wow. Yes. Thank you, skeletons. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. We are so opening up an Isaac Disco radio store. Oh my gosh. I'm going to starve to death. Melons, hurry. I'm choking. Whew. We get it. We get it. Oh my gosh. What a play. Alrighty. So I got the entire area cleared out. We might even make it go a little bit deeper, but already when you're at the bar stool, look at this. Now it really feels, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh gosh. You I mean, honestly, the bar stools aren't very functional now that I'm looking at it, but look at the water views. Now it really feels like we're on an Island now and not just like a little peninsula that was connected to the mainland. We are completely separated. Now we have the means to make a villager breeding system. And not to mention, we have an entire new area to build on. Unfortunately, guys, that is all I have time for today, though. So peace out and have a good day.